Dude, why haven't you all done it yet? <laughs> I stand up here and say, I'm just going to sit out my first term and then I'll show you guys what I can do the next one. <laughs> I mean, come on. I have to say the major difference you have here is they say they're going to have conversations and vague promises. We know what the conversation is. It's going to be them saying to you, what's in your wallet? That's all they ever do. In contrast to that, I proposed a detailed fiscal plan, which you can see on my website, was a three-point plan. At first, we set aside the funds for what we know we're going to need for schools or snow removal, road maintenance, libraries. Then we look at the re revenue picture. I propose eight new revenue streams, and we're going to start collecting impact taxes on all development which Mark Elrich has actually flip-flopped on. In September 2009, he said we should lower it to help promote development projects. And finally, the biggest thing is number three, is cut spending. And I've outlined the specific departments, the economic development, health and human services, county executive's office, county cable office. I'm looking forward to pulling the plug on that myself if I'm elected because they've been using that to make political ads at your taxpayer expense. And uh, George Leventhal was just using the Office of Consumer Protection for an election year ad for the uh, lawsuit they're going to participate in. So look at my specific plan as opposed to their promises. Thank you. Thank you.